All right, hey guys, good morning. It's Sunday morning, afternoon right now, and I'm recording the lesson for Tuesday, but I wanted to give you a little bit of uh, behind the scenes of how it happened. So this is what school looks like right now. All right, so first of all, I've got all the desks out here because we were scrubbing the floor. Second thing, when recording, I put this up so that no one comes knocking on the door and messes up my video. All right, this is what the classroom looks like right now. I don't know if you guys remember, but we had some tiles that were messed up. We got those fixed. My desk is a bit of a, a, bit of a mess. Oh, look at this, guys. This is what I wanted to show you. This guy right here. I found this in my house, but I don't have the stand. I ordered it already on Amazon, so it should be coming in real soon. Get ready for some super professional videos. And here's our lesson for today. This is my setup. Um, I've got this little, oh, you guys know this is where the projector goes. And then I've got Bobby over here, he helps me out, my cameraman. And so I kind of just set them up right here on the corner, line them up right there. And then I kind of got to step back to make sure the whole, what's it called? The whole chalkboard is in view. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we get here. All right, we're on lesson 84, math, arithmetic with units of measurements, okay? I'm gonna read through the lesson. I want you guys to follow along, just like we do when we're in class. Um, like we do when we're in class, I usually uh, break uh, and I let you guys answer. Um, so I want you to make sure uh, that you're reading through the lesson. Um, I'll explain a few of the things as we go along, and hopefully we're all on the same page. That did. All right, page 388, lesson 80, okay? Recall that operations of arithmetic are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In this lesson, we will practice adding, subtracting, and multiplying, and dividing units of measure, okay? So we're not only working with the numbers, we're gonna be working with units of measure. We may add or subtract measurements that have the same units. If the units are not the same, we first convert one or more measurements so the units are the same, then we add or subtract. What in the world does this mean? It means something like this. So if you have two feet, you're being asked to add two feet plus 12 inches. Now most of you are incredibly intelligent and you can do this no problem at all. But this is what they mean about converting before we add or uh, subtract uh, measurements, okay? Uh, before we can add uh, these measurements, two feet by 12 inches, first we're gonna convert, okay? In this case, we're gonna be converting feet to inches. So two feet is converted into 24 inches. Now the units of measurement are the same, inches and inches. So we take 24 plus 12 equals 36 inches. But we can also go the other way. So instead of converting feet to inches, we're gonna convert the inches to feet. In this case, 12. 12 inches equals one foot. So we take two feet, plus one foot equals three feet, okay? All right, now notice here, 36 inches equals three feet. They're the same, they're the same thing. If we were to convert either one, we can change feet to inches and inches to feet, okay? But before we add, we need to make sure we have the same units of measurements. All right, let's move on. The units, oh no, over here. Uh, notice that the units of the sum in example one are the same as the units of the add-ins, okay? So our sum here, this is our sum three. The units, feet and feet, are the same. The units do not change when we add or subtract measurements. However, units do change when we multiply or divide measurements, okay? It's a whole different ball game. Well, not a whole different ball game. It's the same ball game, just a different part of the ball part. When we find the area of a figure, we multiply the lengths. Notice uh, that the units change when we multiply, okay? So, say we need to find the area of this rectangle. You guys know area equals length times width. Well, we're given that information, three centimeters by two centimeters. So we take three centimeters times two centimeters, okay? So we multiply the numbers, three times three equals six. But we also multiply the units, for example, here. Set it up here. So the number uh, three times two equals six, that's our product. But we're also taking the, uh, the units of measurement, centimeter times centimeter, okay, represented here. And we multiply those two together to give us 
uh, squared centimeters or centimeter squared that can be represented like this uh, with the exponent 2 or the power of 2 okay um, it's important to realize that centimeter and a square centimeter are two different measurements or two different kinds of unit a centimeter is a line segment used to measure a length okay so the difference between a centimeter and a square centimeter is represented right here a, uh, just a regular centimeter is a line segment used to measure a length. A square centimeter is a square used to measure a length, okay? So this is a centimeter, this is a square, one centimeter squared, and just one centimeter, okay? Um, that's why it's important to, uh, whenever you're answering questions like uh, when we find the area, when we're looking for the area, to make sure you don't just write centimeter, but you write squared centimeter or centimeter squared. All right, um, let's see, where are we? Uh, the units of the product, oh, here it is. Yes, the units of the product is different unit because we multiply the units of the factors, okay? When we multiply two centimeters and three centimeters, we multiply two and three, we already talked about this, and we also multiply the centimeter times the centimeter, and that is all represented on the board right there. Okay, next, we're in example two, page 390. Six feet times four feet, okay? So this, uh, this is all um, concerning multiplication. We see it's the same unit, feet. So we multiply the number of units and we also multiply the units, okay? So uh, six uh, feet times four feet equals 24 feet squared. Okay, when we multiply, first we look at the numbers, so 6 times 4 is 24, but we're also multiplying the units together. So when we multiply these units together, this is how it's represented by feet squared. Okay, from now on, instead of writing the SQ period and whatever unit of measurement, this is what we're going to be doing. This is what I want you to start doing. Represent your square by the exponent of 2, writing that over your unit. <clears throat> All right, let's move on. Units also change when we divide measurements. For example, if we know the area of a rectangle and the length of a rectangle, we can find the width of the rectangle by dividing. So we're given the area, 21 centimeters squared, okay? And we're given the length. Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. Maybe you already did. All right, um, so we take uh, two, 21 centimeters squared, that's the area, and the length of one side of this rectangle is seven centimeters, okay? So when I go to, the, to divide, I've got 21 over seven, and to represent centimeters squared, I've written uh, centimeter times centimeter, okay? So remember how we canceled uh, yesterday, um, how when they're the same number, they cancel out and it equals one? Same thing here, so seven goes into 21 three times evenly. Okay, for here, we can cancel out one set of the units. So centimeter going to centimeter one time, okay? And we're left with just the unit. Ooh, that was an ugly circle. Uh, just the unit um, of, of a centimeter, okay? So now, what is, the, what is the width of the rectangle? We see that it's three centimeters because all, um, these units of measurement have been canceled out. So we would write three centimeters. All right, let's go on to example number three. Um, another unit of measurement. We have uh, 25 miles squared over five miles. To divide the units, we write mile squared as mile times mile. Okay, so I've set up my problem here. I'm, I know I'm gonna be dividing the numbers, but I'm also gonna be dividing the units. So miles squared is represented as miles times miles. Okay, so five goes into 25, five times evenly. And here, my units cancel out, which leaves me with this unit. That was a little bit of a better circle, okay? So, my final answer is five miles. The quotient is five miles, okay? Sometimes when we divide measurements, the units will not reduce. When units will not reduce, we leave the units in division form. For example, if a car travels 400 mi uh, 300 miles in six hours, we can find the average speed of the car by dividing. Okay, so we're down here. So, 
Um, he it traveled uh, 300 miles in six hours. So we're gonna we're gonna see how fast it was uh, traveling every hour. So six goes into 350 times. Okay. Now these are different units of measurements. Okay. Uh, hours won't cancel out with miles. So when that's the case, it's written. Um, keep your units in division four. The way I represent it, the way I usually represent mine. Uh, in your book, you'll have miles over hour. I usually have the slash sign that I put to represent division. So uh, miles uh, per hour, okay? Uh, per means each, okay? If you wanna look at something interesting, go to your parents' car, and if you look at the speedometer, you'll see MPH. If you ever wondered what that meant, now you know it means miles per hour, okay? And uh, that's when units uh, can't divide. When, unit, when they're not the same unit and you can't convert them into the same unit, you represent them as, um, as a division uh, or, or, or in division form, okay? Uh, last but not least, we have 300 miles divided by 10 gallons. We can divide the numbers, but, we can't, uh, but the units don't reduce, okay? So we know 10 goes into 330 times, okay? Here I wrote it like uh, in division form, so miles over gallon, okay? Miles over gallon um, means 30 miles per gallon, okay? Um, in the next video, we're going to work through the problems. We'll encounter a couple of these problems, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy the video.